As I look back at week seven, it was probably the most enjoyable week of the entire trip. Um, we had a lot to achieve, but we reached somewhere. And we were here at the Arctic Circle, and a bunch of people from Chesky had come out to welcome us. 1,611 miles from the North Pole. Straight that way. Whew. That's uh, getting close. We're getting close. Three days ago, they made a road all the way here, but yesterday the snow wiped it out. So we're on a track made by Euros, and they took 13 hours to get here. They had a blue ribbon, which I was asked to cut, and I still have a piece of that blue ribbon in my passport holder today, because it was one of those memorable times. You don't often drive up the Colomar River and cross the Arctic Circle. Dion and I have been uh, keeping everyone posted how close we're coming to the Arctic Circle. And uh, Dion, what do you think? Are we here? Uh, I, th I think we're definitely here, yes. Although the Russians disagree, they say it's 66.34. We say it's 66.33. <laughs> We've met halfway, exactly. We're 66.33, 500. So uh, here we are. We're here. Welcome to the here Arctic Circle. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Lovely. What I think is so good about coming here is partly crossing it and partly seeing the genuine, terrific fun that people are having just getting to another milestone. That's in a way what this journey has been about. It's been a collection of people really enjoying getting further. So we actually drove across the Arctic Circle. In fact, it's a bit of a cheat. We had to tow them a lot and stop a lot. And on one of those stops, um, I saw on a, on a small hilltop some hunters. And uh, they came down to the cars and had a look. And clearly, they'd never, ever been in a car which had doors and windows and doorknobs to open them with before. And they were seeing something which they never ever believed they'd see. And they were hunters and fishermen. And in the summer they'd fish and then they'd put all the fish into a permafreeze. We were driving along snow which was two, three feet deep along the crusty surface which had been frozen. And uh, it was something which the six-wheel drive Euro trucks could cope with. They had their tyres were pressurised to go up and down as they drove. But we were into towing territory. Um, and for 90% of the time, the only way to get the four-wheel drives was to beat out a track with the huge great army trucks and to pull the four-wheel drive Ford Mavericks. And this took days and days and days, three or four days of this non-stop, very slow coverage. We were doing about 25, 30 miles a day. Yeah. As the road Very is good. flat. Flat. The speed of 80, 80. Oh, very good. Yes, yeah. No. no bumps. No. Oh, yeah, good. No, no, no. Еще немного проехать. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yes. let's go. It's time to go. Please Cack hurry. Cack the <laughs> <laughs> we just started a conversation and the amount of English um, Volody's picked up is amazing. He's, um, he you knows like, all colours and everything he's learnt and he was just saying there, laughing, that he's the um, only English speaking Russian with a French accent because uh, Marielle keeps jumping in the green truck with him and uh, teaching him English. It's getting more and more enjoyable. Everyone's sort of mingling as one big team now. So um, it's no more them and us, so we're having a right good laugh with them. And after days of being towed through thick, deep snow, suddenly we came to an ice road on a frozen river which was just as smooth as a racetrack. And we darted along. We were coming up to a town called Chesky. And it was probably the most extraordinary occasion of my entire time in this part of the world. Um, and no one could really believe it. 
and there were great big cracks in the road. But the ice was three, four feet deep as we charged along it. No danger, no real fears. We're on the, uh, the Kolyma River on our way north to Chersky, well above the Arctic Circle. We're driving along a solid ice. We can travel at 100 kilometers an hour. The ice is probably about six to seven feet thick here. Very smooth and shiny. A lot of cracks running through it. See a big crack over there. And uh, it's, it's glorious compared to what we've been driving through for the last four days. And then eventually we arrived at a place called Chersky. And it reminded me just of a Larry painting. Larry was always been one of my favorite artists. He came from north of England and he always had landscapes with smoke going across them. Tiny figures and tiny buildings. And there in front of me, right up here in Siberia, was a Lhari landscape. And uh, that was Chesky. <laughs> 